What are the best photo printers in 2022? Stay tuned because today that's what we're going to be talking about. Hey YouTube, what is going on? Brandon here with another printer video. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my top three best photo printers for 20. 22. These printers are able to handle wider formats, the highest print quality on the market, and they're in a decent price range. So I ask that you watch the video from the beginning all the way till the end so that I can share with you my top three picks. I do ask that if this video ends up being helpful, that you like the video, any questions at all, comment below. And if you want more content like this, please make sure to subscribe. Getting right into this video, my first pick is the Epson EcoTank 8500. I recently reviewed this printer and did a print quality test with this printer as well. So you can find that on my channel or somewhere here on the screen. But I personally tested this. This is going to be one of your best options because you are starting off with an eco tank. Basically, you're switching from a ink cartridge based printer to a bottle ink based printer. And that is going to lower your cost per each photo that is printed. You're going to get a ton of printing and you also have another option for even wider format for the 8500. So you have the standard letter size. And then you have the wide format, which is almost double the price, but that's what you're paying for wide format photo printing. There is going to be a link in the description below for this 8500 model where you can get to this exact page that I'm on and you can even take a look at the wide format and determine if that's the one you're wanting to go with. So check the description below for any links to printers or any other products I end up talking about in this video. Okay, this printer has a touch screen. It has regular black, photo black. You have gray, cyan, yellow, and magenta. So you have a wide variety of colors and that is very important on a photo printer, especially if you want those really high resolution prints. Of course, with most of these printers, you're gonna be able to print directly from your phone wirelessly. If you have a photo you wanna print really quick from your smartphone, you're able to print that directly from the phone to the printer without any hassle. The one metric we are going to look at with these printers is the max printing resolution. We wanna know the max printing resolution on each one of these so you can make a good buying decision. So for the Epson EcoTank 8500 model, your max printing resolution is going to be 5,760 by 1,440 DPI. All right, the next printer I wanted to talk about was the Canon Image ProGraph Pro 300. This is already a wide format printer, 13 by 19. You have an LCD screen, not a touch screen, but you do have multiple colors, even more than the previous printer, except this is a regular ink cartridge based printer. You have your back paper tray where you can fit your wide format printing option, and you are gonna be able to get very high printing resolution, which we will look at to compare to the previous model and the next model. You have a CD slot where you're able to print a photo directly onto a CD, and you're getting portrait quality, portrait type of prints, as you see here in the advertising. All right, so your max printing resolution for the Canon Image ProGraph Pro 300 is 4800 by 2400 max printing resolution that of course compared to the epson eco tank is lower when we're talking about the horizontal but higher when we're talking about the vertical all right really quickly i did want to give a quick word from today's sponsor which is my very own best printers cleaning kit if you currently have a printer that is printing blank pages not able to print a certain color, you have choppy prints or lines or faded printing, or you have an overall in general print quality issue, you're gonna wanna consider using and buying the Best Printers Cleaning Kit to solve that problem. There's a wide variety of videos on my channel showing you how to use this product with a wide variety of printer models. All you have to do is go to the search bar search up your printer, find an instructional video to your exact printer model or a similar printer model that I have a video on on this channel. And you can use those instructions along with this product to fix your printer. I have had tons of testimonials of people talking about how they have saved themselves money, 
save themselves the hassle of having to buy a new printer and they are overall very happy with this product. So there's going to be a link in the description below. You can pause this video, go down and get your best printers cleaning kit today get back up and printing normally again. And then after you, you're done purchasing your best printer's cleaning kit, you can always come back to this video and watch the rest of it. All right, so the next printer I wanted to talk about was the Epson SureColor P700. This is a 13 inch wide format printer. This printer also is an ink cartridge based printer. So this is a regular ink cartridge printer. You do have the option to move up to a 17 inch wide format printer available through the link in the description below. That price goes up into the thousands just like the upgrade does for the Epson EcoTank 8500 model. So this is another very good option that you're going to want to look into the Epson SureColor P700 13 inch. Now let's take a look at the max printing resolution. Okay, so your max printing resolution on the Epson SureColor P700 is going to be the same, actually the exact same as the printing resolution on the 8500. That's 5760, you got 1440 DPI. So you have the exact same printing resolution on both of the Epson printers. You do have a different printing resolution on the Canon printer that we just took a look at, but it's in the vertical. So the 4800 horizontal is lower than the 5600 on either one of these Epsons, and the vertical is going to be higher because on the Epsons it's 14400, on the Canon it's 2400 vertical DPI. That's really what's going to make the difference here with the overall print quality of these printers. So you really have to take that into consideration. That's really what you want to look into. Everything else is just bells and whistles, to be honest, for the most part, aside from all the other considerations, cost considerations, functionality, specifications that you may want. You're going to want to check links in the description below to take a look at those specifications so that you can make a good buying decision. Either of these printers are going to be able to handle a wide variety of different types of media. You got different types of photo paper, cardstock. There's a wide variety of things you can do with these. You can also turn these printers, and especially the Epson EcoTank 8500, into sublimation printers. So if you wanted to print photos, but not on photo paper, you wanted to print them on a wide variety of sublimation ink compatible products, you can easily turn the Epson EcoTank 8500 into a sublimation printer. As long as you buy it new, it's gonna be hassle free. If you're already using it, it's gonna be a lot more difficult. So those are my top three best photo printers for 2022. I really hope that this video was helpful. If it was, please make sure to like the video. If you have any questions at all, comment below. And if you want more content like this, I ask that you please subscribe. But that's really all I have for today. Thank you guys so much for watching and until next time.